Let's learn how Survey Tools for BricsCAD can satisfy your organization's QA needs and provide an efficient field-to-finish import workflow that complies with your CAD standards. In this sample file, we pre-configured it with an AutoMap file with codes that are pre-configured to capture the point attributes that are included in the Captivate file that we're going to import. In the MS Traverse ribbon, we'll find that there are support for multiple import types. In this case, we're going to use a DBX file that is copied from a Captivate controller. I'm going to browse to where my survey coding project is stored and pick import. You'll see that the drawing has been imported and all of the layer, line type, and color attributes assigned. And you'll also see that a Traverse file opens up and allows us to review. We can check for errors. If necessary, we can correct for errors and then recompute the points. We can also, in the MS Points ribbon, open the Active Coordinate Editor and review the points, uh, descriptions, and any collected audio notes, photo notes, or uh, attributes. And you can also link to items on the map view. Here we're going to have a look at the attribute collected for this tree code. We can see that the drip line was measured as 6 meters. I'm also going to view the point that's stored, point 3035. And if we zoom in here on it, we can have a look and see that a block has been inserted. Now I'd like to modify the field code that was used to scale that block. I'm just going to append a dash S6 to tell the program to rescale that block so that now it corresponds to the measured drip line value. And there's our completed drawing. When we hit pick on the save button, then all of the point measurement and uh, line work attributes are saved with the project for when you open it in the future. Thanks for learning about the DBX import and how efficient survey tools is for topo needs.